Simbins are coming to football. If you're a fan of ice hockey or rugby, then you're surely already conversant with the concept of Simbins. If you're not, well, we're here to tell you. A Simbin is basically a place a player's sent to sit out some minutes of the game as a form of punishment. Let's put it this way. Players are sent to the Simbin for offences too serious to overlook, but too minor to warrant a sending off. Now, why is this being considered for football? Well, in October, IFAB made the observation that matches are often interrupted by mass confrontations, and they've been looking for viable solutions to this problem. So, IFAB has now approved the idea of introducing sim bins to be trialled in the sport in order to reduce the frequency with which players confront referees during the game. The idea is that dissent towards match officials is not so severe to warrant a sending off. So, what seems fair is sending the guilty players to a sim bin to spend a few minutes, after which they get back to the game. And of course, it goes without saying that during this time when the player's in the sim bin, he cannot be replaced. Now, what even made IFAB begin to consider this? Well, according to the body, the rate at which players disrespect match officials is becoming more and more alarming by the day. This season, there have been 88 yellow cards produced because of dissent in the Premier League alone. So, they felt they had to look for a solution. A sim bin trial in football has already been done, and the result? A 38% drop in dissent incidents. That is an encouraging number. According to reports, 84% of match officials, 77% of coaches, and 72% of football players have expressed interest in continuing the trial. The chief executive of IFAB, Lucas Brudd, complained about the rate at which referees are dropping out and has decided that something has to be done in order to assure referees better protection against abuse from players and encourage young officials to get into the game. In addition to sim bins, IFAB is also considering considering introducing a rule where only the captains are allowed to speak to the referees during a game. So, it becomes an offence for anybody not wearing the armband to walk up to the referee and try to make their case, whatever the case. Um, what do you guys think about this particular one? Would it be a great rule, or would it be as good as making the referee a god in the game? Let us know what you think in the comments. Anyway, another important question to ask is this. If the sim bin is introduced, how how many minutes would an offending player be required to spend there? Well, that would have to be decided by IFAB, but it would most likely be 10 minutes or thereabouts. In rugby, players who are sent to the sim bin spend 10 minutes there before they're allowed to rejoin the game. And then Lucas Brud's statement suggests that it could be around that time too. He said, Players may not worry so much about getting a yellow card for saying something inappropriate to a referee, but it can make a big difference if they know that it means a 10th of the match off the pitch. A 10th of a 90-minute football match is 9 minutes, so yeah, they could be considering sending the players to spend just about 9-10 minutes in the sim bin. Now, how soon should we expect to see sim bins in the Premier League? Sim bins were piloted as far back as the 2017-18 season, and then in the 1920 season it was used in all grassroots leagues across England. So, you could say that the new concept has gone through as many trials as possible, so expect to see it brought into the Premier League sooner rather than later. In fact, we could very likely be seeing sim bins in the English top flight in the 24-25 season. So, brace up for a major change in the sport you love. If you want to get acclimatised to the whole idea of sim bins before it comes to football, maybe take some time off to watch some rugby or ice hockey. And you know what else IFAB is looking to introduce? A new offside rule which was suggested by former Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger who now serves as FIFA's chief of global football development. So, right now, if any part of a player's body is ahead of the last defender, he's deemed to be offside. But under this new rule, the attacking player's body has to be completely ahead of the last defender for him to be deemed offside. The idea is that with the current rule, the attacking player doesn't exactly have an unfair advantage if just his big toe is ahead of the last defender, for example. But with the new rule, the attacking player is only punished when he obviously has an unfair 
rare advantage. This one has been cooking for some time and it could be introduced ahead of the 24-25 season. And considering how long the current offside rule has existed, this will be a hugely significant change for football as we know it. But what do you guys think about these new sim bin and offside rules? Are they great ideas? Are they unnecessary? Are these guys making the beautiful game unrecognizable? Tell us what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.